And I wanted to talk to you today about six costly mistakes I've seen a lot of artists make over the years and what you can do to avoid them. The first costly mistake I see a lot of artists make is ignoring design. One of the biggest differences between a mediocre painting and a great painting is often simply just design. If you'll take five to 10 minutes at the beginning of your painting process to work out a good design for your painting via the simple thumbnail sketch, it will save you hours of frustration later if you don't have a good design. You will also save paint and canvases, which will save you money. So take the time to work out on a few thumbnail sketches, the best design for your painting before you pick up your paintbrush, before you put that paintbrush into your paint and start the actual painting. You will be happier, you will grow faster, and you will have better paintings because of it. The second costly mistake I see a lot of artists make is painting too big, too early. What's the problem with painting big? Well, especially for a beginning artist, you wanna get as many paintings under your belt as possible. So if you can start and finish five paintings in the same amount of time that it would take you to paint one larger painting, you will grow exponentially more because of it. See, every time you start and finish a painting, you complete the painting process. And that means you will work through problems, you will discover solutions five times in the same amount of time that you only did that one time with a larger painting. So if you want to grow quickly as an artist, paint small and paint often. The third costly mistake I see a lot of artists make is using too many colors. Having too many colors to choose from, frankly, just complicates your decision-making process. I recommend using six colors. Two yellows, two reds, two blues, plus white and black. And when you begin each painting, I even would simplify it more by choosing one of the yellows, one of the reds, and one of the blues. By using such a limited palette on your painting, you will learn how to mix virtually every color and your understanding of how the colors work together will grow. Besides saving you money and simplifying your color choices, the other added benefit of using such a simple limited palette is that your paintings will have an automatic color harmony. The fourth mistake I see a lot of artists make is using too small of brushes. So many painters come to me and want to learn how to paint with looseness and freshness and they want to have big, bold, painterly types of brush strokes. Well, the easiest way to accomplish this is by avoiding the use of small paint brushes. If you will simply pick up your biggest paintbrush and use it for as long as you possibly can and then switch to your next biggest paintbrush and follow that pattern through your painting and only use your small paintbrush at the end, you will automatically gain a more painterly, more loose, more fresh feeling to each and every painting. The fifth costly mistake I see a lot of artists make doesn't have to do so much with tools or techniques. It has to do with our mindset and it is trying to be perfect. If you want to be perfect, it will most likely make you procrastinate. And if you procrastinate, you might end up paralyzed with fear. So how do we let go of our perfectionist tendencies? Well, here is one effective strategy the next time you stand in front of your canvas and you are stuck with fear. Simply grab one of your big paint brushes, dip it in any color of paint, and put some bold abstract mark on your canvas. By making such an audacious and bold brush stroke right there at the beginning, you will effectively kick your fear in the rear end and your next brush strokes will be much easier because of it. The sixth costly mistake artists make is not investing in their own growth. If you wanna grow as an artist, the best thing you can do is invest in yourself. Look, I'm a fourth generation artist and have been surrounded by art my entire life, but I didn't start really growing as an artist until I started taking workshops and learning 
from other artists who were further down the road than I was. If you want to seriously grow as an artist to where you can enjoy the painting process and be happier with your end product, then you need to do two things. First, you need to get rid of your pride that might say you don't need any help. And secondly, you need to value yourself. You are worth the investment. You have creative potential inside of you that simply needs to be unlocked. You just need a little bit of guidance to be able to grow and experience things and bring forth all of the creative things that are hidden inside of you. So those are six costly mistakes I see a lot of artists make and I hope that this video will help you avoid them. If you want to know more about Acrylic University and what we are doing to help people just like you take the next courageous step forward, then please reach out to us, fill out a form, and get involved with what we're doing. We want to see you succeed as an artist, and we are happy to be here on this creative journey with you.